I've been lucky and privileged enough to be able to travel many places throughout my relative short time here on Earth. I've been able to visit countries and different continents to directly interact with people from different cultures. When I was a little kid, I used to love looking at children's atlas books that would explain the different landscapes, cultures, and climates of other places. I had this inflatable ball shaped as a globe in my room, and I would think about how it would be to travel to those places around the world. Not only do I feel like seeing different places and cultures have been something that has shaped parts of my personality, but also my perception of the world around me. And it also creates this drive for me to share it with the world, to show my own perspective of how I see it. Not because I feel obligated to, but because it naturally inspires me. And it's also calling me to do so. Hi, this is Stella again. In the last video, I showed the beginning of the process of creating these four paintings for an exhibition that I currently have up in Barcelona. You can check out the description to see the address if you're in town. It was kind of a spontaneous decision to have this exhibition, and I could have easily put several of my existing paintings into the space and called it a day, or exhibited a previous collection. But I was called to bring new ideas into life. to show my support for the vulnerable women who are stuck in conflict-filled areas around the world, focusing on Palestine, Congo, Sudan, and Myanmar, but to also show the strength of their characters and the beauty of their cultures. I wanted the paintings to be something that empowered them, and for also the viewer to feel empowered, to feel like their actions help that even though if you hear about a lot of negativity happening in those areas, it still doesn't make you powerless, that there is always a way to help or support. I try to regularly visit new places, or places I haven't visited in a while. And this doesn't only mean traveling, it can mean another neighborhood or park in your city, or just walking home from work in another way than you normally do, if you have time for it, or just having a walk in a place that you don't normally walk. The thing about this is that when you're continuously seeing the same spots, when you basically have your set routines that you don't budge away from, your mind also uses the same spots as triggers to have the same thoughts. When you put yourself in unfamiliar locations, it breaks the pattern and you can kind of think with a fresh slate, with a new perspective per se. You are not just simply walking in autopilot. Not only that, but you also open your eyes to pay attention to things. Because suddenly everything around you appears to be new. In that way, you can make yourself more perceptive to things that interest you and inspire you. The critical thing about creation and creativity, I think, is letting yourself have the space and time to be inspired. To not always feel like you have to create, 
but to find the time to sit and soak in the world around you and not be distracted in the moment. And also not be scared of being bored, not being scared of what can come to surface in the moments where it feels like nothing is happening around you. Or visit other creatives of any practice and see what they do, how they think. Even if you do something completely different, there is always something to learn. And I find it so interesting how we can be such alchemists to our environment and through the tools that we use. The fact that I can create a painting from separate colors that are all mixed together to create new colors and shapes. That a complete blank canvas can end up completely transformed. Or one ball of clay can become a useful object or just simply beautiful statues and sculptures and that you can build them as big or small as you'd like to. These are some of the works from my auntie and her ceramic works that she's been working on for as long as I remember. She's based in Arendal in Norway. And we create these things based on our own imagination and vision for what we want to create. But all of this starts as an idea in our heads and is brought to life through all the new ideas that we have throughout the process and everything we learn throughout the process. you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one.